This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Wooldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. And welcome back to Strictly Business. I'm Nathan Ali, Manager of Government Affairs at the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. We're going to do it a little early this week, but it's time for the closing bell. The Read This Before You Screen Your Next Hire webinar is coming thanks to the folks at the California Chamber of Commerce. Their webinar is Background Checks in California, What Employers Must Know, on Thursday, April the 16th. The webinar will cover what types of information employers should gather in background checks and how to use the data collected to hire the best employees. The webinar will last from 10 to 11.30 a.m. and costs $199. To register, call 1-800-331-8877 or go online to calchamber.com. The state's Employment Development Department will host an employee or independent contractor seminar this Thursday, April the 9th. This free seminar will explain common misconceptions about independent contractors, ways to combat payroll fraud, how to distinguish between employees and independent contractors, as well as statutory and exempt employment. The seminar will be held from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Kern County Career Services Center, 1600 East Bell Terrace, Room 2. To register, visit edd.ca.gov or call 866-873-6086. The Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce has a couple of upcoming events. We'll explore what businesses need to know about California's new mandatory paid sick leave law that take, taking effect on July 1st at our next Labor and Employment Law Update Forum on Thursday, April the 9th. Jerry Pearson, partner with the Law Offices of Young Woldridge, will discuss what businesses need to know to comply with this new law. The forum will be held at the Chamber Office, 1725 I Street. Check-in and networking begin at 7.30 a.m., and the forum will last from 8 to 10. Cost is free for members and $40 for non-members, with breakfast served. To register, give us a call, 661-327-4421, or go online to bakersfieldchamber.org. The Chamber will explore workforce development at our next Good Morning Bakersfield breakfasts and what partnerships local school districts are building and how our members can get involved. Bryant Schaefer, superintendent of the Kern County High School District, and Sonia Christian, the president of Bakersfield College, will be speakers at the event. The breakfast will be held Monday, May the 4th at the Doubletree by Hilton, 3100 Camino del Rio. Check-in and networking begins at 6.30 in the morning, and the program runs from 7 to 8.30. The cost is $35 for members and $75 for non-members, with a table of 10 for members only at $325. To register, call the chamber, 661-327-4421, or again, go online to bakersfieldchamber.org. And speaking of greater bakersfieldchamber.org, bakersfieldchamber.org, I should say, we're rolling out a new way to work for our members with a newly redesigned website. Here to explain a little more about the design and the way chamber members can check out the new website is Dustin Pitcher. He's the technical director of the Marcom Group and our own Melissa Rossiter, manager of marketing and communications. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks. So, Melissa, let's start with you. Why did why did we decide to give our uh, our website a new look? Other than the obvious that it sorely needed one. Uh, Well, that's that's (laughs) the main that's the main. reasoning the the current website we've had the same design for about 10 years so we just needed something fresh and updated it's kind of hard to if you're on the website it's hard to find what information you're looking for um, on the staff and it's hard to update it's not the easiest thing to kind of navigate so we just wanted to kind of provide our members very technologically advanced at the time but correct yes. at the time it was um, but it hasn't really been updated since then so aside from like routine maintenance mm-hmm. so it, we just needed something that's new and fresh and just allows our members to get up to the minute um, information and easy to find information as well. So if they want, whether they want to know more about legislative updates or they want to come to one of our events or they want to join the chamber itself, we have all the avenues that they can do that now on the new site. Great. So when are we launching? We're launching later this month. Okay. So April 21st is going to be the big day. We have a um, website launch um, open house that night. So we're going to be partnering with the Marcom Group, which was our designer on the site, um, to kind of allow our members to kind of get us. I don't want to say a sneak peek, but kind of come out and see the website the day it launches. Okay. Dustin uh, Marcom was the, the designer on this project, and mm-hmm. we know we appreciate all of the, all of the mm-hmm. effort. So what, uh, what are we looking at? We, we, we redesigned this thing from scratch. What, uh, what are some of the, the big takeaways that people can look at? Um, well, it was, it was a fun process for us. Mm-hmm. We, we got to learn a lot about the chamber, um, familiarize ourselves with you know, a lot of the value that you guys bring to the business community. Um, so, so it was a learning experience for us, too. 
Um, they, we always start with planning. Uh, you know, the content is always the message. The verbiage is the most important part of a website. Uh, we have very talented designers that do great designs, but we wanted to make sure that um, the information was really at the forefront so that the users could quickly find what they're looking for. That's really the important thing. Um, so uh, one of the first things, we wanted to make it easier to become a member. So uh, the big thing here is now people can do their application online. Um, it's got automated dues calculations. They can make the payment for the, for the dues online. Um, just kind of streamline that whole process and make a lower, lower barrier of entry to actually becoming a member. Great. Um, and the other aspect of it is, in, you know, enhancing the benefits that the chamber brings. So part of that is, you know, talking about all the events mm -hmm. that you guys do mm -hmm. and um, making it easier for users to find events that would be of interest to them and also make it easier for the chamber them yourselves to promote those events, you know, and have more areas of the site where you can... Um, you know, put basically advertisements and promotions for those events. Um, you know, the other opportunity there that we noticed was for um, a better advertising opportunities for for your members. Okay. So um, making more areas available for advertisements, integrating them a bit better into the layout, making them easier to manage. Mm -hmm and also some more robust reporting. So um, one of the cool things that people will enjoy um, who choose to advertise on the website now with the chamber is they're gonna have some better reporting. Um, they're gonna have the opportunity to see, you know, the number of impressions on a daily basis, or weekly or monthly basis that their ad's getting, click-through rates, things like that, that'll help them, you know, make better informed decisions about their advertising. So really a good opportunity for people to get to see the bang for their buck. Right? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Accountability is a big thing, um, especially when people are using their advertising sure. dollars. Um, mm -hmm. And then, of course, the design, you know, which was a big thing. It, you know, at least a third of the traffic's coming from mobile devices, so it's now fully responsive, meaning it'll work great on a variety of devices, regardless of the screen size. Um, and uh, one thing we wanted to do is make sure it's very readable and, again, easy to navigate. Um, the websites are only useful if people can find what they're looking for. Sure. You know, a great design is, you know, a, or visually pleasing design is kind of secondary to that. But um, I think our designers, you know, um, along with the collaboration of the Chamber, really made a mm -hmm. site that is nice, easy on the eyes, but really, really easy to find what you're looking mm -hmm. for. Um, and then the last part of that is adding the benefit to the administrators of the website, which will be, um, you know, the stakeholders at the chamber. So mm -hmm. making a very intuitive and, and um, quickly updatable administrative area so that um, these changes can be made quickly and um, you can get your message out there quickly. And this is this is the benefit of, of building on the WordPress platform? Absolutely, mm -hmm. okay. yes. So like 90, about 90, 80, 90 percent of the sites, corporate sites we do, um, inform, inform, informative sites, are going to be on WordPress just because of the ease of use and the familiarity and the extensibility. You know, it's, there's, there's a lot of features available. I know that, mm -hmm. Melissa, I know that a lot of people haven't seen the site mm -hmm. again. We just popped it up on the screen a few minutes ago just mm -hmm. so people could take a quick look. Um, what, but I know if you have, what's some of the response that you're hearing from the people that have seen it just kind of in a preview? Um, I mean, from our staff in general, our staff is amazed at how clean it looks. And, and there it is up on the screen. That, you can take a look. That's it's what the homepage is going to look like. So, um, again, it's just very clean. It's very crisp. Um, you can kind of um, find out. But a lot of the feedback that we're getting so far are, is just they're amazed. It's cleaner. It looks good. Um, people are surprised on how easy it is going to be to find information. Um, the toolbar is going to be really easy for them to kind of look around and see what's going on. So, mm -hmm. And, of course, a Chamber of Commerce website is more than just it, for businesses correct. that come. Uh, typically, when you're, when you're searching information about a community, obviously there are a lot of other opportunities. You know, we have the Boards of Trade and mm -hmm. the Convention and Visitors Bureau and not, not. But a lot of people tend to look at the chamber first. Well, we have a lot of information there on the community as a whole. We do. We actually have um, two different sections that would probably be beneficial for people that want to know about what Bakersfield has to offer. So we have a visitor section, so that'll put them in touch with the Board of Trade, the Conventions Bureau. Um, and plus, it just provides basic information. If they want to find out how to get a city business permit, for example, mm -hmm. we have um, a link on our site that allow them to do that. Um, and then we also have the business resources page too that all has our online business directory for the chamber so they can look at chamber members v regardless of category they can kind of find out 
a business that they may need. We also have um, different resources that are in, within the community that they can talk to. So it'd be like the Small Business Development Network out of Cal State Bakersfield, it'd be SCORE, um, different organizations that we partner with as well. So we've... Okay. And some uh, some opportunities, again, you mentioned our events, of mm-hmm. opportunities to sign on and pay and, and do mm-hmm. all of those sorts of things, all from your computer. You don't have to give us a call. You can just mm-hmm. do it all right through there. Yeah. And you can even do it on your smartphone too. I was kind of playing with the site over the weekend, kind of doing some updates to it um, on the back end side. And it's just very easy to navigate even from your smartphone and if you're kind of technically technologically challenged as i am when it comes to certain things it makes it very easy to to navigate and the important thing is will my mom be able to go and watch old strictly business shows correct okay Mm -hmm. can we take that part down i'm sorry we have to to leave hey if they have to see me on the show they have to see you too oh okay (laughs) um talk a little bit about the launch party again one more time we'll put that information back up on the screen okay um so the chamber is going to host a launch party on tuesday april 21st uh, it'll be between 4 and 6 p.m. So members can come at their leisure and kind of check out the site. We'll have it up on our big um, brand new projection screen, which looks really awesome as yeah. well. Um, and then we'll have myself and Dustin and some other chamber staff and Marcom rep- representatives as well to answer any questions that we members may have, whether it be advertising or how to navigate the site. We'll kind of walk them through it, um, whether it be on a desktop, laptop, you know, tablet or smartphone. And then we'll also have Dustin and um, kind of give a presentation at 4.30 and at 5.30 to kind of go over the special features of the website that we've talked about today. So. Okay. And uh, if someone's interested in uh, sponsorships or advertising on the mm-hmm. new website or just looking for any more information, who should they contact? They can contact me at the chamber. So they can give me a call at uh, 661-327-4421 or they can give me an email as okay. well. Okay, great. And that's mm-hmm. mrossiter at bakersfieldchamber.org. Correct. Okay. Dustin, thank you to, uh, for coming in, and thank you to the Marcom Group for all their hard work on mm-hmm. the site. I know it's been, uh, it's been a, a long development process, and we're very glad to, to see it get off the ground. It was mm-hmm. fun for us. So, yeah. uh, Dustin Pitcher, Melissa Rossiter, thanks so much mm-hmm. for joining us. We appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Hey, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back with one more segment. So stay tuned to Strictly Business. Ask 